Hi, this is Chris with AccuTrade. Today we're demonstrating AccuTrade's Vindo extension, putting the power of AccuTrade live inside your favorite auction. I'm going to work with ACV today. You've already installed your Chrome extension, now you're ready to buy. So let me just quickly run down what we're looking at and what your capabilities are during your buying process. So we've selected this Jeep Cherokee Latitude model year 2019. So right now, while the auction's running, in this case it's ended, but while the auction's running and you will have time, you can review the vehicle. You're able to see all the pictures of the vehicle. This is all being done in the, in the auction window. So you're verifying everything right here. That's what you want to do is start your appraisal. So right now, we have this 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, it's a two-wheel drive unit showed by the option right here. And it looks like it's a four-cylinder car, and it looks like it does not have navigation because it is not mentioned on the options over here. The vehicle is white. It is not gray. It has a beige interior. Okay, so now we're taking a peek at this vehicle. I'm going to start to look at it in more depth. You can see the, the AccuTrade Instant Offer is here. This is the low side of your lane guidance. And you have Target Auction up here. This is the higher side of your lane guidance. Down here is your scorecard. It's a quick synopsis of how this vehicle is going to fit in your inventory. We could take a closer look at that in a moment. As you come down, you can see that because you're synced with this auction, that you do have the miles already inputted at 18,088. See that right there? Okay, we've already verified the options. We've put in the color combinations. Uh, there's a good Carfax and a good auto check reported with this unit. Okay, you want to scroll down. We'll refer back to the scorecard. So the unit's a little higher on the miles for the year. Okay, this is the depreciation or the melt rate. Okay, this is how much this vehicle will cost you per day in inventory or per month in inventory. Here's all the relative market day supply. This is telling you that the vehicle is a little bit light on options. This is the two-wheel drive. This will tell you the local days on market and consumer interest. If there was damage added to this appraisal, let's say the bumper had a, a, a chip, that would be added, and then you would see the damage appear down here. As we scroll down, we have our local market data. This tells you right here where this car was. You can see it was a Bulldog Kia, it was listed for 18.5, and it's been on the market for five days. You also get to see the comparative vehicles in the market. You could set that range right here. I have it set to all locations, but you can set that incrementally right here. Okay. Scrolling back up, now you see you have all the information to make your purchase. Okay. And to do this for another car is very simple. You just come back over here to a live auction. We'll look at this town and country. See the extensions are already extended. As it's loading, I'm just reviewing. So we have leather seats. There's damage to the tires. Just trying to get a quick idea of the vehicle. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to scan quickly at the values, come down here, look at my scorecard, see how this vehicle fits my inventory, review the common problems, make sure to, to look, and in this case, if there's a video, listen to see if there's any of the noises or any issues associated with these common problems on this vehicle. Scrolling down, I'm going to double check the options. There is no room, moon roof, rather, no navigation. Put the color in, gray over black. I'm going to come down here. You can review the scorecard. You can check the depreciation. You can see that this vehicle, there's not pictures yet, but it looks like it is coming soon at a retail price of $13.5. And again, here's the relative market and a synopsis of the market right here. So I've seen where I'm at. I'm within the lane guidance. The current bid's at 6000 So if I was to bid on this car, I'd be okay within AccuTrade's lane guidance. 
going to move on to another car. Let's take this 2019 Infinity. As you can see, very easy. This is a base or a Lux. Looks like this vehicle was a previous rental. Okay, so let's take a peek at some of the options. Looks like this is a pretty base vehicle, no entertainment package. I'm going to select the color combination. Remember, they do note it as a rental, so we do want to make a note of that because that will affect the value of the unit. And as you can see, the AccuTrain late guidance has put you right in an area where it's okay to buy the vehicle, even with the rental history. Let's check the, re here's the retail images from history. Sure, we'd like to load them up. Now you have a nice complete appraisal, lane guidance, scorecard. This is a 2019 So there's not too many common problems with the 19 model year. And again, all the same information. And you could do this all day long on as many cars as you want. You could check live auctions. You could check end ended auctions. Do all the research you need to do. And remember that all these appraisals are saved in your AccuTrade appraisal tool in your appraisal log. So if you wanted to review, revert back to one, um, or happen to be looking at the car again, uh, you'll have a little reminder that this vehicle's already been run through the tool in your dealership. Thanks for your time and have a great day.